Octopus! Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and this is Octaves. I'm going to demystify this word for you and how you can play them on the guitar as quickly and as efficiently as I can. Alright, so firstly, what's an octave and why do we need it? Well, an octave is quite simply running all the way through the musical alphabet and getting back to where you started. So if you think upon starting from A, we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. When I'm back at A, that is an octave. Eight. Octopus. Think eight letters, eight limbs as an octave. Okay. So then why is this useful? Well, because firstly, it can help us to learn the fretboard, finding the notes, and it helps us when we're thinking about learning scale shapes and chords and adjusting notes within chord shapes. So this is really, really powerful and I encourage you to stay with me as we go through this. Don't forget, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like what I've got to tell you. Let's take a zoom in on the neck and go through octaves. Okay, so octave shape number one. An octave on one string. Where is the octave of my open E string? Well, it is at fret number 12. That's why we have two dots, people. The two dots to signify the octave of the open string. So as I hit fret 12, I'm back at the note E. You can hear that, E, E. High octave. Same is across all the strings, A. So straight away, you will now be able to name all of the notes in the 12th fret, E, A, D. G, B, E. Octave shape number two. Adjacent strings, so strings that are next to each other. So taking the E and the A strings. At this point I should introduce a concept to you. Finding the same note on a lower string, if I take that E at fret 12 of my low E string, if I want to find that E on the A string, straight away I'm going to drop it down one string, so I'm now on the A string at the 12, and I'm going to go back five frets. One, two, three, four, five. So you can find the exact same note on the string below if you go back five frets, okay? So that is an octave on adjacent strings. We're up seven frets from the lower note, okay? Now let's have a think how that might change as we move the shape down towards this floor. So from the A string, the octave is still at fret number seven. As I move to the D string, the octave of that is also on fret seven on the G string, string three. But what's gonna happen as I move that octave onto the B string? We're on string number two, any shape, where we move on to string two, the note must go up one fret, as per my previous lesson. So the octave there is on the eighth fret. And carrying the octave shape on the B string to the high E string, if I move that shape down, I'm gonna, that note on the open B string will actually come up a fret. So let's reset everything back to the open string and fret seven again is the octave of the B string. You can hear that. Octave number three, one string skip. So we're thinking say from the low E to the D string, string six to four, what is the octave shape? Well, going back to the adjacent strings, it was seven frets up. If I take that same note, I want to drop it down a string, applying the rule from before, I'm going to have to go back five frets. One, two, three, four, five. So that octave is two frets higher when I skip a string. Let's move that up to the fifth fret. So there's my A note on the E string, and that's the octave. Let's move that note bass note to the fifth string, the A string. That octave stays the same. Now look out, octave shape from string four, finger three is hitting string two, it's gotta go up a fret, using the pinky, there's the octave shape there. And as that octave moves down onto string three, it stays the same. Okay, that's your string skip. Octave shape, about two string skips. Hmm, all right, so going back to my A, the octave was two frets higher 
on the D string. Now if I take that note down to the G string, I've got to take that note back five frets. So the octave is now going to be behind the bass note. One, two, three, four, five. It's right there. Look at that. There's an octave there. Six to three. Now what if I move that down, the bass note goes onto the fifth string. Up, oh, that higher note has gone onto string number two, so it's got to go up a fret. And that's the octave there, and then moving that down onto string four, it's going to stay as it was. Two string skips. Octave shape five. Uh, two octaves. That occurs between the low E and the high E string, those two open strings. That's two octaves. So any note that I play on the low E string, taking back to that A note, two octaves above will be on the fifth fret of the high E string. Octaves. So there you go, that's octave shapes as they appear on the fretboard. See if you can learn them. It's really, really valuable. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.